Hi everyone, it's Kathy, and I'm back with another journal, uh, kind of like my passport-ish uh, journal. Again, like I said before, these are so much fun to make. I just like uh, putting random things in there and, and using a lot of uh, items and ephemera and stuff that I have. So it's really fun to make. I hope you will enjoy taking a peek. This journal has 132 pages, so it's quite large and bulky, and um, I'm just gonna try to go through it as quickly as I can. I know these kind of journals can be boring sometimes, and um, I apologize, but I, I want everyone to see the pages, especially for those who like to purchase them. So um, let me go ahead and um, just jump right in. It is a little bit bigger, just slightly bigger than um, than my other one. Um, let's see, it's about seven by five and a half inches. And again, it has 132 pages. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. The closure is this um, fuzzy type ribbon. It really helps to kind of keep it closed and not um, popping out everywhere. As you see, it's pretty full. Um, lots of lots of goodies in there. The front cover again is just some. Uh, actually this was made from a file folder uh, I kind of got the idea again from um, oh my gosh what is it a stitch in time no I can't remember who it is but I'll I'll have to note that um, that's what she used she used a file folder on hers and then I just kind of put some little tabs on on the spine, aged the cover a little bit. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and go in. The inside front cover, <clears throat> excuse me, has a pocket. All the pages have been reinforced with either some tape or fabric just to uh, keep them a little more sturdy. <clears throat> so the pocket has a mini journal so you can start off writing in some good memories right away in this journal and then I'm just going to kind of flip through some tabs pocket little tag Guess check. You can journal on that. Another space for journaling. I left some blank pages so you can journal. Tracing paper, an envelope with a little tag inside. I, I won't open that up. Stitching, tuck spot. A little charm at the bottom, some bling, an envelope with a, this is an original, I think this is an original, I don't think I copied it, I think it's an original, um, not sure what it is, but it's in French, it looks like it was in, from 1924. Another pocket with another little envelope, journaling card, more stitching, another little journaling card, some decoupage, stitching, 
a little flip up. And then this is a coin envelope with a little journaling card inside. Isn't that cute? Some pom-pom trim. And this photo can come out. So you could put anything you'd like in there. Burlap pocket with a tag. These papers have been dyed with uh, different inks. I, I, I've done them, I did them so long ago, I can't remember. A uh, layaway tag, another pocket, this is an original um, ledger page, I left it there so you could journal on that, envelope, opens up like that, and then there's a altered flashcard, another tag, and then in the back is another tag, a large tag. Lots of room to journal on that. Another pocket that's been um, embossed with some modeling paste. Some fabric. More of that dyed paper. So pretty the way it came out. I don't think I could duplicate, duplicate it if I tried. More room for journaling. Another charm. This one's a little bird. More of the pink paper, collage, a quilted um, piece of a quilt with a stitch heart. And then this is a frame and you can pull this down to take the photo out and put whatever photo you'd like. Some stenciling, another little charm and here we have a copy of the um, looks like a receipt um, where's the date 1936 Those are always fun to have. Another pocket with a tag. Pretty ruffle with some buttons. And this opens up lots, lots of room for journaling. Some pretty lace. Pocket with two journaling cards, and this is some embossed paper at the top, and this is the other side of the envelope, and inside this is a, again, another copy. This is of, of a letter, again, I believe it's in French, so if you can read French, that would be a treat for you. Tuck spot, another tag, pocket with a tag, <clears throat> an embossed tag, some paper dolls, and that's been stamped. Cute little image. More fabric. 
And this is a envelope that's just clipped in. I won't open it up, but it opens up and you can put anything you want in there. Another pocket with a journaling card. Another pocket. And it's been embossed on the heart there. Some stamping. More decoupage. Another pretty ruffle. And then there's a little flip up with the pretty handsome couple. Some tags and a tab. Pockets with a cute little tag. And the inside back cover, <clears throat> I left plain. As you can see, it was very bulky already. So there you have <clears throat> Excuse me. My um, latest passport-ish type journal. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek at that. It is available for purchase. Just contact me at the email below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I hope you enjoy taking a peek. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. I do read them all and appreciate each and every one of them. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.